now we are about to offer mass prayer. Mass prayer we are about to offer is like each hands will be on one side. You will receive a hand while prayer is going on. Not only you people here, viewers at home all over the world, you have the presence of a touch, a touch on you. What is about to happen now? After that, you are stamped and sealed. I don't want you to miss it. I've heard many revivals all over the world. I witnessed the spirit of Father descendant, but not remain on everyone. Not remain on everyone, but descendant. That the spirit will not come down? No, no, no. Who is calling that spirit? It's seven. And when you see this revival, you will know it's a revival. People of all colors, not just one-sided people, or uh, white, or black, or mm, of all colors, they accept themselves. They worship together. That is revival. Because I'm not from that country. I should not go to that country and call my people out of the country to come and join me for revival. This is revival. I had several revival all over the world. I witnessed the Spirit of God descended, but not remain on some people, but remain some. It's not remain when he is grieved. It's not remain when it was, when it's grieved. If there's any one of us that have that character now, you can quickly check yourself. You don't see people falling down, you see people, oh, no, no, hey, no. You just find people vomiting. But you may have similar situation, but you'll be looking, looking until the whole thing is finished. He does not remain when he is grieved. Tell your neighbor. That is the spirit of father, the spirit of father, the spirit of God, I mean the spirit of our Lord Jesus. He does not remain when he is grieved. He will come down. Let the power of the Lord come down. The voice is gone. To where? Heaven. The heaven will be choking. Whose voice is this? Oh, yes. This is our servant. Okay, let's go. They follow the boy again. Down. Atmosphere change. Looking for people that are, are ready for him. He does not remain in people when he is grieved. You have to take note of this. Your pastor is calling congregation for prayer. You should be ready. Because if he successfully called the Holy Ghost, he cannot detain for Holy Ghost. He can only call. And the Holy Ghost will now go and look at those who are really ready for him. He does not remain when he is grieved. We grieve the Holy Spirit by our pride. And we express our pride in a different way, various way. Everybody below that, the man is very proud. You want to see a man like this. If you say, ah, that man is proud. Eh, hey, where is the one coming up? You want to see a man like this. Uh -huh. That man is very proud. You want to see a man like this. Is that all? You have 
what you regard as pride. <laughs> but you don't know that there are different ways we can express our pride. It's not that way. There are different ways we can express it. Any moment from now, you see what begin to happen. You hear from some people say, ha, 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 look at the way he, he finds it. Oh, my God. He just fall down. Bah. But himself, is not falling. Oh. If you are not falling and somebody is falling, why are you comment about the person? It's not a joke. It's not a joke. This is church of God. So get yourself ready. Let the spirit of Father remain in you. He wants to be in himself in you. He does not want you to instruct him. He wants to be in himself, in you. Tell your neighbor. Again? Again? He want to be in himself, in you. Though he's using your shape, he's using your organ, he's using your body, yet, he wants to be himself. What are your challenges? What are the issues of grief? When I hold a grudge against you, I have already grieved the Holy Spirit. Tell your neighbor. Tell again. Whether you are right or wrong, for any reason, as a Christian, once I hold grudge against you, I have already, already that moment I've grieved the Holy Spirit. So are you holding a, a grudge? Pain of the past. Feel free now. Just say in your heart, minute, I forgive that man. Minute, I forgive that woman. Begin to bless your people. Bless them, bless them. No, no. It's over my way. No, 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 no. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lord. Lord, forgive me as I forgive those who have sinned against me. So begin now. Before we call heaven, because when heaven now comes now, the Spirit of Father, he does not remain in a man who holds a grudge. That's why you need to clear yourself now. Clear yourself, clear yourself. A blind man that could not see who begin to say, I can see, I can see. Ah, you see, everything is happening around me. Is it arranged? Ah, over there, here, vomit, blood. Ah, look at warm life inside. What's wrong? This does not work for me. What's wrong? It happened. When heaven, that is the spirit of Father, come, he does not work in a man who owed a grudge. He does not remain when he is grieved. And we can only grieve him when we hold grudge against our brother. This holding grudge and all of that, everyone, there's no single person here that will stand to say, no, I'm free of this, I'm free of... People, they will tell you they have been wounded, injustice on them. I mean, innocent, but this is what they have done to me. I'm not happy. You are holding a grudge, not on anyone, but on yourself. Your spirit can never be free when you are not happy. You have seen God reliable. When you know God is reliable, what happens? You begin to trust in Him. That is the meaning of reliable. The moment you realize, ah, it's reliable, you begin to trust in Him, depend on Him. Rise up for prayer. We are here to stand against anything that is not of God. And those things are the cause of
crisis you are facing today, the challenges you are having today. So therefore, let God himself, Jesus, give us a word to say. If I allow you to begin to pray, ah, there's a lot of things you want to pray for. There are too many. You say, I reboot this one. I reboot this one. I reboot this one. I reboot. A lot of things you want to rebook. So we don't know how to pray. The Holy Spirit give us a word. And when he give us a word in prayer, it becomes prayer language. Prayer what? Language. Prayer language. And you know, prayer has its own language. Holy Spirit give me where I don't know how to pray, but Holy Spirit give me. There is a barrier between you and God. That's something is a wall that does not even allow you to even see God. Hear God. Feel the realm. Feel the presence of God. Something is between you and God. That is barrier. Could be holding grudge. Could be trial. Unforgiven spirit, pain of the past, you refuse to let it go. If you don't let yesterday go, today you can't enjoy it. That is what you people call in the school, carry over. That language is not good, just ah, carry over. Many of us, we are full of yesterday. And you want to enjoy it today, it's not possible. Tell your neighbor. You are full of yesterday and you want to enjoy today. It's not possible. To be full of yesterday, that is, you think about your past. If what you are full of are good things yesterday, you can enjoy today. But they are not good things. The bad of it is what you are thinking about. It will not allow you to enjoy today. Just take good of yesterday and be full of that good of yesterday. You enjoy today, but bad, how you are disappointed, how your job is not going well, these are the problems you are facing. So, you can release yourself. These are the cause of barrier. 